In this video, we're going to be testing out official Steam OS on the smallest Ryzen powered mini PC on the market. And when it comes down to it, this is faster than the Steam Deck, but surprisingly enough, it's also faster than the ROG Ally X. And this thing is coming in with an absolutely tiny form factor. What we've got here is the Minisform EM780. And as you can see, it's a palm sized mini PC. And of course, there are other mini PCs on the market around this same size, maybe a bit taller, but most of them are powered by Intel chips and they really don't put down a lot of power. But this is much different because what we've got here is an AMD Ryzen 7 APU with eight cores, 16 threads. We've also got RDNA 3 graphics built in, and this thing has been a great performing mini PC. And just to kind of give you a rundown, we've got the AMD Ryzen 7 7840U. 8 cores, 16 threads, and this will clock up to 5.1 GHz. Built-in Radeon 780M iGPU based on RDNA 3. 32 gigs of LP DDR5 at 6400 MHz, and a 1 terabyte 2230 M.2 SSD. I've installed official Steam OS on the internal hard drive using the Steam Deck recovery image, and we didn't even need to go to Steam OS 3.8 with this. You could also install something like Bazai if you want to, but I wanted to go with official Steam OS, and here it is. So far, performance has been great with this mini PC, and you know, this might look a little different from the original Steam Deck, and that's because I've actually got some custom themes installed here. One of my favorites is the gradient color change, as you can see, it looks really good over there. I've installed this with Deki. We've got CSS Loader. I've got a few of my favorites enabled, but uh, setting it up like this with the EMU Deck theme, really kind of sets it off. Just a very clean design. I'm gonna disable that so we know exactly what's going on for this video, but just keep in mind, that's personally how I like to have it set up. But um, the colored toggles are awesome. Going in here, you can see we've got that RGB gradient going on. Moving down a bit, got all the settings that we'd have on the original Steam Deck, uh, except for TDP control from here. And for that, I'm actually using Simple Decky TDP. So I've got this set at 40, but I think we can only go up to around 35 with this thing. We've got full control over the CPU boost. We can disable multi-threading, CPU power governor. We can change this um, from six up to 40, or I can even go down to four watts up to 40. By itself, it was sitting at around 30 watts. And with that little bit of a boost, five watts extra, like I mentioned, around 35 watts, it does make a little bit of a difference and we're not hitting thermal throttle. Moving into our settings here, I'll show you, I do need to update, but SteamOS Hollow 3.8. And with this, we've got that AMD Ryzen 7840U with the 780M iGPU, eight cores, 16 threads, 32 gigs of LP DDR5 at 6400, and 11 gigs of VRAM dedicated. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is actually really awesome. Super tiny, doesn't make a lot of noise. I figured it would spin up a bit higher than this, but at that 35 watt TDP, which is kind of our maximum here, it doesn't make a lot of noise like I originally thought it would. And uh, another thing we have here is a full desktop system. So if we wanted to, we could head over there, but I think it's time to get into some gaming because I want you to see what this thing can do. And the first game we're gonna get into here is Spider-Man 2. Recently, we got a new update for this, and I've noticed that on iGPUs, I've been getting a lot better performance, but we still need to use frame gen with something like the 780M here. Even if I was able to take this mini PC up to 65 watts, we still need frame gen if we want to go over 720p and hit 60 or above. Right now, we're at 900p, low settings with FSR frame gen on, and it's not bad. Never dips under 60. Uh, obviously, we are generating some fake frames here but that's kind of how it goes with this game if we want to get over that 720p mark. Next one we have here is Cyberpunk 2077. Medium settings, 1080 with FSR set to balance, no frame gen, and I did try Steam Deck preset, but we kept dipping under that 60 mark. At medium settings on this mini PC, we are getting an average of around 63 FPS. Now, it doesn't mean that it's going to run continuously over 60 because when there's explosions on screen, you see a dip under. But this game is running way better than I thought it would. And just like we saw with Spider-Man 2, if you wanted to use frame gen, you could bring that frame rate way up. But I wanted to leave it off here and it's not bad at all. Next on the list, we've got Borderlands 3 at 900p low settings, 100% scaling. 
I tried 1080 at first, but I had to take it down to 75% scale. And uh, I mean, it looks about the same here at 900p. So I figured I'd just lock it there at 100%. And as you can see with our frame rate on screen, most of the time we're over 100 FPS with this, but this is one of those games that is a bit all over the place with iGPUs. Doom Eternal. At the time I'm making this, we've got one day until Dark Ages hits, and I will be testing it on a bunch of different handhelds, so keep an eye on the channel. But right now we're at 1080 low, and I could probably take this up to medium, because our frame rate looks good here, and this is a very well optimized game, but to see it run like this on such a tiny PC is amazing. Another game I always like to test on these iGPUs is Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and for this I just used the built-in benchmark, 900p, low settings, and we got an average of 58 FPS. I also like to test out Wukong, so we're at 900p, low, 60% scaling, average of 54 FPS. So not bad, but not quite at 60 with both of those games, and there are some settings that we could alter to get over that 60 mark. Elden Ring is one that just really eats up these iGPUs. For some odd reason, by now I figured we'd be able to run this at 60 on most everything. Right now, we're at 900p low settings, and I'll tell you, even if I drop it down to 720 low settings here, we still can't reach that 60. Looks about the same kind of frame rate there, so I'm going to chalk this up to just optimizations in general, be it through Linux or the game itself. And the final one I wanted to test here was Oblivion Remastered, 900p, low settings, XESS set to balanced, and I do like using XESS when we don't need frame gen with most systems. Personally, I think the scaling does look a little better at that balanced preset, but you can see we're not quite at 60 with it. We're seeing an average of around 41 FPS with this game. And if I dropped it down to 720, it does look pretty bad on a bigger screen. If I was on a smaller screen, it'd be okay, but that only takes us up to an average of around 48. So I need to go in here and switch off XESS. We're gonna use FSR set to balanced and enable FSR three frame generation. And even with frame generation on at 900p low settings here, we just can't run a steady 60, outdoors at least. If we go indoors, this actually jumps up into the 80s, but for the most part, I mean, we're gonna be out exploring in this game. So we're gonna do one last thing. I'm gonna take it from 900p to 720, and that now brings us up to an average of around 73 FPS. And indoors or small corridors, this jumps over 100 FPS on this little mini PC. But we're at 720, and on a larger screen, it's very noticeable. I mean, the hit from 900 to 720 on a much bigger screen really makes a huge difference. I mean, it just doesn't look great at 720. Given the form factor of this mini PC, I think performance here is really impressive with SteamOS installed. Now, the main thing I was actually worried about was just hitting thermal throttle all the time. Coolers gotta be really small in this thing, and we're at a 35 watt TDP. But when it comes to average CPU temps, we were sitting right at around 74 degrees Celsius, and the maximum I saw this climb up to was 83. And of course, if this was a full-size desktop system, I'd say, yeah, it's running a little warmer than I'd like, but it's a mobile chip, in a very small form factor, I think that's pretty awesome. Thermal throttle here is around 92 degrees Celsius for this chip, so we never hit it while doing all these tests here. For a mini PC that fits in the palm of your hand, I'd say that this is a successful test and you could definitely game on this machine here. Minisforum also made one of these known as the EM680, which has the uh, 6800U. It's not gonna perform anywhere near what we saw here with that 7840U. That 780M iGPU is basically the same thing that we've got over in the uh, ROG Ally X with the Z1 Extreme, but with this, we can take that TDP up and sustain those clocks. But that's gonna wrap it up for this one. If there's anything else you wanna see running on this little machine with SteamOS installed, just let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.